to the coronavirus, Worcester is among six new cities and towns making changes after being labeled coronavirus hot zones. And the list of red cities and towns in Massachusetts continues to grow. Good evening. I'm Paula Evan in for Lisa. And I'm David Wade. Cities and towns go from green to red when the infection rate per 100,000 people reaches a certain level. And there are now 17 cities and towns in Massachusetts that have been labeled red. Just added Nantucket, Plainville, Saugus, Kingsboro, Worcester, and Rentham. Now, Worcester is the second largest city in Massachusetts. WBZ's Christina Hager has the latest from there tonight. For the Worcester Public Schools, the official start of sports was tomorrow. Not anymore, says the Worcester School Superintendent. Since Worcester is one of six communities that just spiked into the high risk red zone on the state's color coded map of virus rates, sports here are postponed. We're doing cross country golf, field hockey, and soccer. So students have been looking forward to that and practicing, but you know, we want to do what's safe for everybody. The line at this free COVID 19 testing site was down the block before it even opened. Safety, security, to make sure we're. Safe. Well, it doesn't surprise me because I see what, what I see, you know. What do you see? A lot of people not being careful. You really want people to kind of uh, use their judgment. Worcester's medical director, Dr. Michael Hirsch. We're hoping uh, that we will be able to kind of reel this back in and that the state now that we are red zone will be able to provide us with some extra muscle. That means our COVID-19 enforcement and intervention team will be talking to them about what the causes of that increase might be. With this new designation, this is an opportunity uh, for everybody to redouble their efforts and recommit their own everyday activities uh, to adhering to the protocols. No communities in the red zone are participating in fall sports. The superintendent here asked the league for a postponement so that if things improve, student athletes might have a chance to get out there and compete later. The state is expected to weigh in on that next week. In Worcester, Christina Hager, WBZ News.